G'day everybody, this is a story called The Famous Ramon Bunch. Here we go. Tom Ramon was a young boy who was born in the late 40s. And yes, he had some great stories to tell about his childhood. You see, he used to go out with his mates and every weekday after school and also used to take the girls out to the local disco. He met a lot of young girls, including one girl who he made a pact with and he was going to marry her. And I can tell you, this drove his parents nuts with his horny fave not concentrating and on anything else but this little pretty little girl. You see, they did everything together and Tom was very happy. He did nothing but brag about her to all his mates. Yes, he was in heaven way before his prime. His father started to worry after a while because he was starting it, starting to forget his meaning of life. But all Tom can think of about the meaning of life is having sex with her, then having kids, and also having a happy, have, living happily ever after. He didn't want much else. But at the age of 15, he was called to the army in and for his national service. And Tom was going over and over in his mind of how to tell his girl he was joining the army. Tom arranged to meet this meet his girl who whose name was Rita and he said when I finish my national service I will come back to you don't cheat on me I want to be with you forever so a week later Tom went to the national service in Brisbane and every day when it became phone call day Tom was looking forward to talking to Rita and of course his family but he spoke to Rita for longer and Rita loved this relationship. She, she wanted no one else. After three months, Rita still loved talking to Tom, but she missed fun times at the disco and all that. So she took a few girlfriends to the local dance. And the problem that then came out, the problem that came out of this, Rita met this guy she was really into. Actually, this man claimed he was too cool for the army when Rita told him about Tom, but then he introduced himself to Fred Tomlin, who worked as a farmhand on the farm out on the outskirts of town, but it wasn't. But it wasn't. It wasn't breakup like normal breakups. Rita felt lonely and needed Fred's company, but she wanted no sex. But then Fred's home was invaded by armed thieves who wanted to grab the Tomlin's millions. And Fred said, just take what you want and leave us the fuck alone. But the thieves got a bit scared of Fred and threatened to kill Rita. And if he didn't shut up, and Fred said, you don't want to do that. Just take me and let the girl go free. You want nothing from her, mate. It's the, it's the Tomlins you want. Just kidnap me for ransom. My dad will pay. But if he doesn't, you can kill me. I don't want to be in town when Tom Ram Ramon gets out of the National Service. She is his girl and the thief was Tom's mate. And he said, I am protecting him from you you lying whore. And then he shot her in the stomach. And after three months on life support, Rita finally died. And then they rang Tom and said that Rita had been shot by your best mate and who was there at the time of the shooting. And straight away, Tom left the army and came home for the funeral. And I tell you, it wasn't pretty between him and his so-called best mate. And he told his mate, that he is going back to the army and then he'll never ever come back here for as long as he lives. He only will come back to be with family, nothing else, because these friends are complete losers. So when he was finished, 
with the army and went home and packed his things and went off to the YMCA to learn how to be a leader, to take his mind off things. This was hard for Tom to do with dealing with the loss of a woman and who he wanted to have kids with and he wanted ever to mix with anyone that gave him memories of those days because they were very heartbreaking and very sad times for Tom. Okay, that was Tom Ramon, sad time. And I reckon everybody who is being called in to do national service, I can understand it would be hard to deal with, but um, particularly that sounds like a really sad kind of story. Okay, bye.